Uh, no, I'm gonna start over. <laughs> oh. What's up everyone? I'm Andy and this is Brain Buzz. As we start approaching the holidays, more and more unique cards are going to start coming out. More holiday themed cards. This week I review one such cart called London Nog by Ness. As you can imagine, I suspect this is going to taste quite a bit like eggnog, so think flavors of cinnamon and vanilla and nutmeg. Really looking forward to seeing if it lives up to that taste profile. So let's start with the unboxing, then I'll talk about the taste, I'll go away, I'll come back and talk about the feel and the effects, giving it my final verdict at the end. So let's dive into the unboxing. All right, let's take a look at the London Nog by Ness. This one comes in at 86% THC. It does not indicate if it's indica or sativa. I do believe this is a hybrid. There are no other details other than how to open it, but it is just a standard Ziploc. So you simply tear. Fight like hell to open it. <laughs> And then the unprotected cart is inside. I've never seen a really teeny tiny cap like that before. So here is the cart and I don't know if you can see that. It leaked. So it's all sticky <laughs> on the outside here. Anyway, I'll take care of that after. That's, pro that's one of the reasons I like having the card protected, because when it's unprotected, I feel like it gets jostled around and stuff happens to it. Anyway, there are no details printed on here whatsoever, but the tip of this card is designed to match the flavor. So let's see how this lines up in the battery. I'm gonna try and turn it from up here so I don't get all sticky. <laughs> Normal fit, no issues with the battery because it's a round tip. Let's give it a try. All right, ready to give the London Nog a try. I've gone ahead and loaded it into my Vessel Compass battery. We'll turn the battery on. And it is indeed pink, so it is on the highest temperature setting. Let's give this a try. So I'm getting, uh, I was going to say cinnamon, but I think it's more nutmeg. Maybe even, I'd say maybe even allspice. Uh, I got that right at the beginning. Then that dissipated. I, I weirdly got cocoa maybe and some earthiness as it started coming into the cannabis flavors towards the end. Yeah, really interesting. Let me... There's more going on, but I haven't narrowed that down yet, so let me have another taste. Interesting. Yeah, I'd be more inclined to call this... It reminds me of like a hot chocolate or a hot cocoa with marshmallows and a hint of uh, either nutmeg or cinnamon or combination of the two. That's what it reminds me of. I suspect they may even rebrand this as we head into Christmas and give it a more Christmassy hot chocolate name. At least that's what I would do if I were running the company. Anyway, yeah, it's really good. Uh, 
I'd say it leans more heavily towards the artificial flavors. Maybe 30% cannabis flavor. It kind of comes in just towards the end. It's a little bit peppery, a little earthy. Otherwise, you kind of mostly get cocoa, nutmeg, then a bit of cinnamon, and a bit of vanilla. Really pleasant. I'd probably get tired of this long term, so I suspect this is kind of a seasonal release. Um, as such, probably pretty great. Okay, I'm going to keep using this, then I'll come back and talk about the feel and the effects. Alright, I'm back. It's been about 45 minutes, but I think this is a good time to stop. I've felt all of the effects, and, well, let's talk about the feel. It isn't bad overall, but it does build over time. So I'm at the point now where it is very heavy and tight in the chest. My throat is a little bit dry. My voice is starting to get raspy. So I'm going to stop here. But if you do use this cart, just either spread it out more or don't use it all at once. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about the effects since I'm starting to blank a little bit. As you can tell, it's a little bit hard to concentrate right now. This one, I feel, is pretty much all in the head. So, it starts with a head buzz, then it becomes just general fogginess, I guess. Interesting, considering the name, London Nog, London Fog. Clever. So, yeah, it is a little bit foggy right now. <laughs> Um, there's a bit of buzzing going on behind the eyes, around the crown of the head, at the base of my skull. Um, I just noticed my hands are tingling a little bit, so it may start going down into the body a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on that. I am feeling it going down the body now. So that means it's great for uh, pain, to numb any pain that you may have. So I'm going to keep this one in mind for when I have ankle issues. Otherwise, it's kind of a, a mellow but uplifting buzz. So I'm definitely more chilled than I was when I started. But I'm also very alert. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to concentrate on doing any work. But I'm definitely alert and awake. So great kind of a party buzz, maybe but also great for anxiety because it'll kind of take that edge off um, but not leave you completely impaired or <laughs> tired or asleep. So yeah, pretty great. I'll give it my final verdict, I suppose. It's pretty great. <laughs> the uh, taste is really pleasant. I, I really enjoy it. It's a nice balance between the cannabis and these kind of Christmassy flavors. Really quite tasty. The feel, like I said, as long as you spread this one out, won't be so bad. And the effects, I, I really see a lot of different uses for this. Everything from, like I said, um, a kind of party buzz. If you're hanging out with friends and want to just chill out a little bit, this would work great for that and it also would work great for anxiety. So, two thumbs up on this one. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. And I will be back again next week with another review. I have two great ones coming up and I'm not gonna tell you what they are. You'll have to find out next week. I'll see you then.